the power in failing. There's huge power in failing in life. But I want to talk about a topic that is really dear to me because that's how I grew up thinking. That's the mindset I had when I was a when I was a teenager to my uh, mid twenties. You know, and that's what you're taught in schools, at, at home most of the time. You know, success means everything goes well. You you do something and you succeed. You know, you have no hiccup, no, no issues, no problem. And failure is bad. It's terrible. And one of the things in our society in Africa, specifically in Africa, even though certain culture and all have embraced entrepreneurship it's I, I truly believe by the way entrepreneurship is in it's in some people dna but uh that's a different topic uh but in general in, in our culture uh in africa at least the, the the cultures i've known you know and i think that's uh, that's what we inherit from uh, colonial time and and trying to copy the west so much you know, you, you, you go you go to school, education is very important. Academic education is very important. And a lot of African family, if not all, go to school, then you go to college, you graduate, you look for a job, and you work there till you die. But that was the older generation. It's my mom generation, that was it. That was, that was the definition of success, right? Um, business was too risky. Entrepreneurship was too risky. Uh, I remember clearly, Having conversation with, and people were talking about, oh, that guy, yeah, 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 he's a mucuruzi. That's how they call business people. You know, uh, oh yeah, he dropped out of school. You know, his parents didn't have school fees and he, the only option he had is selling stuff. 10, 20 years later, man, that guy is on the, is somewhere else, right? But, but entrepreneurship or business and, you know, business lifestyle was always associated with huge, risk which is linked to huge potential failure this part of conversation is the power in failing yeah i said it and i'll say it again the power in failing there's huge power in failing in life i failed so many times when i stopped counting i remember man if you get the book man you it's gonna blow your mind. I have, a, I have a huge chapter called Loser. Whole chapter. I thought I was a loser for a long time. Because I kept failing at most of the things I was I was engaging. And some of the stuff I was good, I was not the best. And um, so I thought I was a loser. But now, whew, I respect people that fail and you know, because in failing, there is knowledge, huge knowledge. Because you have found a way on doing something and knowing that stuff you did is not working. There's power into that. It's power of information, guys. You know, now you have information you can share and give advice on. Man. Failure is by far the best teacher. Ima just, just imagine if we all were successful in everything we do, what, what would we learn? Nothing, nothing. And the people that fail the most are the most prepared for, for success, right? At, at least I believe that. They're the most prepared for success. You know, so you have to embrace failure, guys. And the biggest challenge I see is when people start something and get started, right? and they fail, they automatically process that information as, okay, I was not meant to do this. And they automatically associate failure as, as the result of what the outcome should be, you know, of, of their life or their goals or whatever, you know, and, and, and they quit. 
they quit because they say, oh, well, if I fail, that's a sign. And that sign is always emphasized by people around you, family, friends. Yeah, man. <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm, I, it brings me back a lot of memories, guys. A lot of memories. Yeah. Well, you know, well, if, if it didn't work out, man, Henry, you know, it's time for you to hang on, hang the, the, the jersey, like they say, and retire and go get what? Go get what? A J-O-B, because you can always get a job, right? But it's all about mindset, man. It took me a long time to understand that aspect of life. It took me a long time, man. And when I understood it, it just became second nature. I didn't look at failure, failure as, as a bad thing. I look at failure as an opportunity to learn, you know, and get that. It's an opportunity to learn. Because now you know what's not working, at least you're not gonna do that again. You're gonna do something else. In business, it's about opportunity to learn what's not working until you find something that is working and to become successful. And if you look at the history of most big companies, they went through that cycle. It's not Einstein, guys. It's not complicated. It's not a physics formula out here. It's just the process. And yes, 0.0001, get it, you know, become successful overnight. Great, that's them, not me. I had to work hard for my success, man. I have to grind and fail and fail and fail and fail. If you cannot handle the neg negativity and, and failing and, and people talking and, and, and you know, just all, all this judgmental aspect of life that comes from people, don't chase no dream, because you will fail at some point. It's just a fact. Your chances of you failing at some point is over 90%. Now, the sooner you embrace that information, and the sooner you accept it, and the sooner you embrace failure as part of your success, and the sooner you'll be successful. Take care, guys. What's up, everybody? First of all, thank you for watching all the videos. I'm working on a project right now that I'm really, really passionate about. It's called the 50K Challenge. And that's 50,000 copies we need to sell of the book. Out of every 20 sales, I'll be giving one book to a young entrepreneur or young students. And out of every 500 sales, I'll do a one-week mentorship to a young entrepreneur. I truly believe with your support, I can achieve that goal, guys. So. Share the books. If you haven't got it, get it. If you don't like to read, buy it for somebody else. And please share it also on social media. Thank you.